Nice one, cool dudes. It is pretty early on a Wednesday morning and I am here in Schaufleet, about to undertake a walk from Martin Simon's book. Those of you who watch the channel regularly will know that Martin Simon tries to kill me on every single walk. Fingers crossed, this is okay. This walk is a 5.5 mile walk around Newtown Creek and it starts here by the New Inn. But I've just popped up the road to have a look at St Michael's Church, which after all my history of closed churches is open first thing in the morning. And it is well worth a look around, a very beautiful, quiet church. Anyway, it's time to get on the walk. Only one thing more to say. Good luck everyone, especially me. Buses at every hour. The new inn looks like a nice place to go for lunch. I might pop in there later. But I always think it's a mistake to name something new because as soon as you do that, it's not new for very long. And the prime example is the uh, Scooby-Doo show, which was on when I was younger. And it was always called the new Scooby-Doo show or the all new Scooby-Doo show or something like that. But the biggest mistake in that was introducing Scrappy-Doo, one of the worst characters. I don't know why they always used to have to introduce a baby character because they thought it appealed to younger kids. Because all the young kids I knew hated Scrappy-Doo and they also hated Godzuki, who was the uh, baby sidekick of Godzilla. This is Corf Camp, where I went when I was with cubs when I was a little kid. At cub camp, one of the best things was when we shrunk crisp packets on the fire. And I generally thought it was magic that you could create a shrunken crisp packet. I still don't really understand how it works today. I think I might stop here and try and do a drawing. Yes, a very good idea. I have done the first outline sketch of that. I, I think I've moved things about. And now I'm going to try and do a watercolour. The problem is, is that I haven't really used watercolour, so I don't know what I'm doing. But let's have a look through my kit first. You might be interested. This sketchbook is from Hobbycraft. I've got about a pack of seven or something. Um, and the paper's quite thick and the ink doesn't bleed. And after lots of experimenting, these are called Platinum Preppy Fountain Pens. They're only about four quid each. And they can take uh, carbon ink, platinum carbon ink cartridges, which are waterproof. I've got this to mix my um, water in, uh, Winder and Newton Travel watercolour set, and some brushes. Nice one. Oh, and this is a traveller's notebook, A5 size, from Etsy. Some hours later, the light's completely changed. But here we go, cool dudes. There's my version. I think what I've learnt is less is more. I think one of the sad things about being an adult is that a lot of people are put off trying something new or learning something because they're awful the first time they do it. It makes you want to give up. The way around that I found is to be awful at absolutely everything. Therefore I have zero expectations of myself. is Newtown Estuary, which back in the 14th century was the most important port on the Isle of Wight until it silted up. Pretty good fact. I think 
think this is fast becoming one of my favourite places, cool dudes. Well done, Martin Simon. Or oh, sounds like Martin Simon's your boyfriend. No sunglasses, Malik. I haven't forgotten all the times Martin Simon tried to kill me. So he can still get lost and so can you. Seeing sunglasses, Marit, back there has given me an idea for today's question. What are the things that people say that really annoy you in sentences, grammatically or misuse of meanings? For example, I don't like it when people start sentences with the word so. Also, the overuse of the word amazing when something is not amazing annoys me. But I think my biggest pet hate is when sportsmen win a championship and they describe the moment as being surreal. It's not surreal if you win a football trophy when you've trained your whole life to be a footballer. It would be surreal if an elephant shot out of the sky and then shot the trophy on your head. That would be surreal. So it annoys me when they say it's a surreal moment. It's the equivalent of me you know, buying the ingredients for some spaghetti and then making a spaghetti and saying, oh, wow, this is surreal. Please write the things people say that you find annoying below and try not to put stay cool or good luck everyone, especially me. Thank you. <laughs> This is an excellent walk. There's so many magical bits, like this one here. The bird hide does look a bit like a toilet. I hope no one is going to the toilet in there. Oh. I wish I'd bought my binoculars. There are some broken ones here you can half see out of. But what a cool place to come and just look at birds for an hour or two. want to leave that bird hide. This walk is one of those walks where you want to allocate twice as much time so you can just sit for a while in the places and enjoy the scenery and the, and the bird song. The sign said to look out for furrows which are remnants of the old medieval ploughing when they used to have all their uh, plants in rows. Hmm, can't see any. Excellent, cool dude. I spotted my first reptile of the year. I think that's a lizard rather than a newt. I get confused though. I'll look it up when I get back. Good history here. New Town was created in 1256 and 300 people lived here doing farming mainly until it 
was burnt down in a French attack in 1377. And this is the old town hall. And it was a rotten borough, which meant it had two members of parliament, despite hardly anyone living here. The end bit of this walk is just retracing your steps along, you know, uh, B Road, the way you came. But that's the only part of the walk that isn't that good, to be fair. Nice one, cool dudes. 5.87 miles, 4 hours, 15 minutes. The walk is complete. And for once, I managed to go through a whole Martin Simon walk without almost getting killed. I thoroughly recommend that, especially on a nice day. You can't go wrong. Take a sketchbook, perhaps, or maybe um, some binoculars. Yes, definitely binoculars and a camera. All right, that is about it. Oh, yes, don't forget to join the club. You can join on the website and get this membership pack. And also, you can join on YouTube and give me a monthly amount. And that way, you get access to videos that no one else can see and also these excellent emojis. Thank you very much to everyone supporting me. Your generosity is vital um, for me to continue making these videos. Um, the prize draw for members is coming up next. And remember, you get an entry if you're a member on the website and one if you're a member on YouTube. I think I'll join both ways. All right, stop going on about it. Let's go on with the prize draw. Oh yes, one more thing. Stay cool. Nice one called cool dudes. That was a magnificent walk. And without further ado, it's time for the prize draw. The bad news is, is that I accidentally, on purpose, ate my last pack of strawberry laces. So this is the prize for uh, this episode. Currently, there are 790 members on the website and 172 on YouTube giving a total of 962 entries into this prize draw. Random number generator. Generate me a number. Generate 259. Congratulations, cool dude 259, AKA Ian. This prize is on its way to you. Thanks very much to all the members. And remember, stay cool. Thank you.